my face is burned. I just come back from holiday and no, I've not been to Spain or Greece, but just in the south of Belgium. And in Belgium, sometimes, sometimes only, we really have good weather. And so my face is burned, but I like it. You know what? It should have been outside, which is a rare occurrence and it needs to be celebrated. My friend, in this Rantazaurus video, I will be talking to you about my holidays that happened in TwitchCon Amsterdam, which was really cool, and in the LARP. I don't know, my cat's find a fly or something. In the LARP, the mass LARP Ragnarok in Belgium. That being said, in that video, I'm not going to talk to you about never mind about the twitchcon itself or the larp itself because i will do that in other video i think it's worth to speak about those particular events separately but today what i want to talk about is the fact of going outside as a gamer as a content creator going outside is pretty cool and pretty rare i don't know about you but me i've been stuck to my computer for many years and it's very hard to get me out of this for many different reasons and we're going to talk about that so first in my life i have been i've always been a very creative person with a lot of artistic tendency and desire of expressing myself in a certain way and and doing things and having projects but i never managed to put my energy out i never managed to construct something so i started to write novel never finished i started drawing never finished i started to make theater play never finished i was doing a lot of that kind of stuff but never anything got produced out of that so basically i was not finding my path not finding my purpose i also got pregnant pretty young i was 19 years old when i got my daughter and um so i was really kind of stuck into certain environments and not really encouraged to find uh, my past, my passion, what I was good at, etc. And so at the end I find a regular job as a seller in a shop and it was great because I had a brilliant relationship with my boss at the time and I'm very grateful about those 15 years that I spent with her but it was not my passion and never has been. And then one day I discovered gaming, I discovered the pleasure of creating communities, taking care of them, organizing events and I could put all of my creativity into this kind of virtual area and being writing stories, making graphic stuff, uh, etc. And then I ended by becoming a YouTuber and a Twitcher and a streamer, a content creator. And all along my gaming life, I have really been enjoying the games themselves, but also everything that's around it related to the community, taking care of a guild, taking care of a group and uh, the creation of content, may it be stories, may it be videos, may it be a screenshot, whatever. I could finally express my creativity and there was a goal. The goal usually was to establish my community established my guild and gets to be known and then later on it became an ambition of becoming a successful youtuber or a successful streamer because i had the possibility of finally expressing myself and see something produced and because gaming is quite addictive i really got absorbed by the internet then i started to have a relationship on the internet as well and romantic relationship so even my love feelings were all absorbed into the internet and therefore i have been disappearing completely sucked into the internet for many years which had a, as a result that i have been neglecting my real life for many years i was just doing the bare minimum taking care of my kids and my family uh doing my job because i had to do my job and that was it 
I didn't entertain friendships around me. I didn't plan to learn a new skills. I didn't try to do things or, you know, plenty of things that I could have done, I've not done. I've never really organized my home to be nice, etc. Then when I was in a relationship with my ex-ex Norwegian boyfriend, all I was dreaming about was to move away in Norway into and because i was dreaming of moving away in norway and move away from belgium it felt pointless to uh, invest myself in any sort of way in belgium so everything i was building was on the internet because that is something i could bring with me anywhere so I've been living with that mindset for many years. Then I became a content creator full time in 2018 and finally I had succeeded and achieved what I wanted, free myself from the system, do my passion for a living and, and spend all of my time doing it. And so what I did is spend all my time doing it. And those of you that are content creator may know that, but you can always do more. You can always do better. I could do so much more than what I'm doing now. I could post more video here. I could start to make best of from my Twitch clips. I could start to make short video. I could do more ASMR video. I could start a TikTok account. I, I, there's so many things that I could do. I could play. It's endless. The internet is an, a pit of infinite possibilities, but it's in the virtual world. And I've been heavily criticized around me for being so absorbed by the internet. I felt dirty for many years because it was an addiction. We all have addiction. So we don't have to feel bad and guilty for it, but it's something to get free of. It's something to get rid of. Uh, whatever that addiction may it be, it can be work, it can be yoga, it can be meditation. An addiction is an addiction, it's a way of escaping reality, of escaping yourself. Anyway, otherwise I will rant forever. Um, it's in 2019, after six months of being, or yeah, six months of being content creator full time, that I realized in a very strong way, when I say it's a strong way, it's like I received a big slap in my face. Uh, I went through an existential crisis, disconnected from everything, uh, nothing made sense, and I had the feeling that I was a planet that has been ejected away from her orbit, floating alone in the sky, in the infinite space, and all I felt was emptiness. It was like a massive burnout, but I don't think it was a burnout. I will call that a dark night of the soul. Uh, but le le let's just say that it's a sort of existential crisis where you're disconstructing yourself entirely to be rebel later. And at that moment, I really realized that my lack of food in the real world uh, was a problem and that if I was spending all of my time streaming, playing games, then sleeping, I will soon run out of subject to talk about on my stream and I will not be able to nourish my content with experience. And I will feel, I will have a, a, a life kind of devoid of joy, maybe a bit cold, even if we can find a lot of joy and friendship and feeling and emotion through video gaming and through internet communities, it, it's still kind of virtual and far away and abstract and cold. And so it's important to keep at least a feet on the ground and, and a step into the real world. So in 2019, I met my boyfriend which was also a big slap in my face. Another one, on the other cheek. And um, it bring me back to the real world. But then the pandemic hit. And with the pandemic, it was like the universe telling me, no, but you continue to, to be on your computer. It's good, good lifestyle. Stay at home, stay on your computer. All right, so I've been continuing to do that. Of course, that 
saying didn't help me to get out of my habits of sticking behind my computer. In addition, my activities has kind of speed up and require a lot of my attention. And like I told you, the internet is a pit hole of infinite possibilities. Therefore, it's really easy to enter into the trap of piling up more stuff and more stuff. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that and this project and that and that. And I want to do this and this and this. And uh, it's really exciting but it eats all of your time and suck up your soul. So it's important to keep a balance. Therefore, I went away for two weeks. I went to TwitchCon, which is kind of the, the best way of making all of this virtual life real. Finally, you meet the, the people you're speaking online with, uh, you're meeting other content creator and yeah and you have this kind of all things that you can touch there's the music there's the decor there's the stuff you are in a convention it's real it's it's there suddenly it take a different dimension it's it's the virtual that come to you in the real world and that's really nice as a content creator and as a gamer and as someone spending your life on the internet that's absolutely brilliant and so needed because suddenly it's tangible, you can touch it. The LARP is a completely different story, but I will be talking about that in a different episode. But in any case, it allowed me to enjoy some fantasy world in real life. And uh, in, in, in some place that takes shape, once again, have a foot in reality. While your head is maybe in the fantasy world, but the, your feet are in reality and your face got burned by the sun, which is cool, which is really cool. I, I, I'm really happy about that. So I really had a good time. It was great. It was brilliant. But now I'm very curious to know what you think about all of that. Uh, what do you feel as a gamer or as a content creator, if you are a content creator? Do you feel absorbed on the internet as well? Do you feel like you're a little bit entrapped by all the things you can do, all of the possibilities that exist on the internet that has no limits and that you can, can always take more and more and more on your plate? without realizing that you're completely losing yourself. So I will be curious to, to know what you think about what I've said and uh, where you situate yourself with that subject. So in any case, you take care of yourself, take the sun if you can, or take the rain, it's nice too. See you next time, bye.